Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a comparison of a zoom lens 24-70 shooting at 70 and I'm going to compare it using my prime lens uh, 85. I'm just going to use the same camera so uh, the color rating should be uh, the same. I'm just going to use an adapter of this Sigma uh, MC11 um, for my 85 prime lens full body one two three okay i'm gonna come up to like a half body short maybe i turn to one side and look yeah, yeah yes nice yeah cool okay more like a headshot right now okay yeah just headshot Okay, I'm going to use my 85. Okay, now I'm coming up to a half body. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'll come up to a headshot. <laughs> nice. So now I'm going to shoot with the same distance with two lens. So this is the 85. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot from knee up with the 85. Okay, one, two, three. And here's the 70. Cool. Hi, so I'm back from the photo shoot and got some photo edited. Um, these are all edited photo. Um, the yellow one there from the 70 um, Sigma Art Lens and the blue highlighted one, they are 85 1.8 Prime Lens. So I will still show you guys the unedited photo as well. On the right side, you can see the ISO and shutter speed. Before I show you guys the photos, I just want to mention that I shot with aperture priority mode in this photo shoot instead of manual mode. Usually, I shoot with manual mode um, most of the time just to have more control of the ISO and the shutter speed. But this camera, the Sony A7C, it's pretty smart and I just took advantage of the technology and honestly I just wanted to have control of the aperture so I used aperture priority mode and ha and let my camera did the rest also um, I just feel like sometimes people make it's such a big deal like they think that photographers have to shoot with manual mode and shoot with raw but for me I feel like the end result is more important if the photo is like to your liking everyone is different um, so I won't make a big deal about me not shooting in manual mode um, in every photo shoot sometimes I just like switching around between aperture priority or sometimes I'll just shoot with manual mode also, I want to let you guys know that I am aware that both lenses are very different lenses. Um, the Sony lens is a email Sigma art lens and the 85 lens is a Canon mount um, and I had to use an adapter. Um, and yeah, it was an e-mount lens um, and they're both in, at very different price point. So the Sigma art lens is much um, more expensive while the Canon lens is cheaper. Um, all this shoot I shot at their widest aperture so for the Sigma I shot with 2.8 and the Canon I shot with 1.8. So let's start with um, looking at this um, full body shot with the Sigma um, at 72.8 so um here is the before and this is the after let's zoom to 100 percent i just really love how sharp this um sigma art lens look for full body it's like really nice um nicely focused on the subject and here is a half body shot this is the before and after 
also very sharp and I just love how easy it is to get everything sharp. Maybe it's because the lens is like a good quality lens and because it's like higher aperture too, um, that 2.8. Here is another half body shot before and after. So I'm actually not sure why like most of the photo shoot, uh, most of the photo actually really blue. Um, I think we shot pretty early before the sun was here. So, um, yeah, or my camera wasn't, I wasn't set it right for the, um, white balance, but they're like really easy to fix when I get to my editing tool, um, on Lightroom. It's so nice and sharp. I feel like the 70s like really nice for portrait. But you know like um because it's like 2.8, usually a post like this I would love to have like a 135 or 85 1.2 to have like more creamier background, just like look more dreamy. But like this 2.8 I feel like it still look too realistic or it's just too sharp for everything. So it's like less dreamy um of this effect which is still okay it depends on like um if you're shooting more like a lifestyle like this or you want to shoot more like a fine art um dreamy style so you will need to choose different lens and here is um headshot just how nice the both eyes are in focus um yeah some hair and skin, everything is so sharp. Um, let's see the before and after. Before and after. This next one, I just had the model to take off her jacket. It was really cold, but she still, um, you know, took off her jacket and we got some photo shoot with her cute outfit. And here is another, um, at 70, you know, the Sigma art lens, um, before, after, full body shot, before and after, 100% zoom, very sharp, and, um, yep, nothing wrong with that, I think it's just like a good portrait lens, um, 70. You see, like, posts like this, I would usually prefer having my, um, 135 or 85 1.2 just to get like more creamier background this to me is still too like clear <laughs> of the background um but you know which is okay if i only can bring one lens to a photo shoot then this 24 to 70 is possibly you know i can live with that just how beautiful um the quality is like i don't have i told you I was only shooting with aperture priority and my camera just lock on the subject eyes and um, help me get in focus and the photo shoot was done in less than 20 minutes before and after here's a headshot with the 70 I just really enjoy using this um, the Sigma art lens the Sigma lens, they're really quick and um, easy to get in focus. Alright, so here is the first photo of um, the 85, Canon 85 1.8 lens. Usually I would just use my 85 1.2 if I'm doing a more, um, more like prime lens, like more focus um, of a theme. Then I would use my 1.2, but for like a little comparison or like to be more portable, then the 1.8 will actually do the job. And here shooting with 1.8 with the full body, I would say that it's not as sharp, but um, overall I think it's still acceptable because you know this lens is actually much cheaper than the Sigma Art lens, so I can accept that it's like it's not as perfect as the other lens. Um, also, with this 85, I'm shooting at 1.8. So if we are going to see the side by side, 
let me see how do I click uh, then we can see this side by side so on the right is the um, is the 85 on the left is the 70 you can see the 85 is actually creamier in the background but the 70 is sharper which makes sense because 70 I use I mean I should with f2.8 and it is a more expensive lens too so I expect it to be much sharper but for um 85 1.8 and the cheaper price point I think this will do if I want to get like my subject more sharp then uh, for full body especially for full body I will probably go up to like 2.8 or 2.2 to get it more sharp but like at 1.8 full body we're talking about 1.8 or 2 1.8 for full body this is actually pretty good performance and um, here's the before and after I'm pretty glad that I didn't just you know use a different camera with the 85 um, because if I have used my um, Canon camera then it may you know the color may be a little different than the Sigma so yeah it just makes it easier to edit and um, kind of tune the whole thing if that makes sense all right anyway so let's see a half body shot with the 85 this is a half body 1.8 so still I would say that um, if I'm like really doing this photo shoot for a more you know professional like a pay client or I need to this is like a job job then I would definitely use like 2.0 or you know um, or even 2.2 2.4 2. .2, 2. .4, 2. .8. Egg, uh, to get it more sharp but for 1.8 this is actually pretty good performance I would say let's see another one if it's sharper this is also half body yeah this is a little sharper than the other one yeah so like for 85 you can see the mountain is actually like creamier um, which this is the the 70 is um, to me it's still a little bit too clear but you see how <laughs> two point eight just like much sharper. I'm sure like the eighty five will have like good performance if I use I like, shoot it up, you know, at higher like more smaller aperture. So here is the before and after. Um, let me see if I can find a side by side. So here's the side by side. Uh, on the left is the eighty five, and here on the right is the seventy. So you can see the background difference. Like um, the eighty five is creamier, more blurry. The seventy is still kind of like rough edges. Like you can still see um, the background pretty pretty clear like more clear so here is another half body shot with the 85 um, before and after I think like if you're on a budget and cannot buy a Sigma Art or a Sony G Master you know those um, higher price point of the 2047 T 2.8 lens then you know you settle down for a cheaper prime lens it will still give you a good performance um, if you bring it to a photo shoot see like this um, headshot with the 85 it's actually just focus on one eye while I remember um, the 70 focus on both eyes this is the 70 yeah both eyes actually the whole face is in focus so I wonder if it's like because uh, I shot in 1.8 <laughs> so I think the lips is in focus the one eye is in focus <sighs> okay so here's the before and after so let's see another headshot see if yeah I think it's only 
one eye is in more in focus. This is not bad. I can see the eyelashes, but this eye is more in focus. Yeah, the face is pretty good. Um, to get in focus before and after. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think right here, this eye seems to focus in focus. Huh. Interesting to notice. Alright, so here is more um, full body shot with the 85, half body shot, before, after. Huh. It's also one eye is in focus. Hmm, I wonder why. Interesting. Which is <laughs> uh, this is not bad. Lips are in focus. So in um this last two photo, um I shot um in the same distance. So standing in the same distance, this is the eighty five how it look. So it's kinda of like knee up. While the seventy five is um, get more of the leg but you know it's not like too big of a difference it's not like uh, 85 versus 35 so but I think if I can only bring one lens portrait lens I will say that the 70 I mean the 24 to 70 can do the job um, I'll say that it's probably better to do like a two people you know to do portrait for a couple because for like a single, a solo, for portrait, I would say, uh, to me, to my liking, I think the background is still too much is showing. I would like something more like blurry. <laughs> um, yeah. But I think everyone has different liking. But if I'm only going to bring one lens, it will still be the 204070 instead of my 85. But I think 85 is going to be like... Well, especially my 1.2 L lens is going to be more like a winner for a more romantic feel, more dreamier. And um, I don't have to worry about, oh, I just want to shoot with 50 or go down to 35 or, you know, 24. Um, you know, all this so-called distraction. Um, so, yeah, there is pros and cons. Um, it's all, you know, both are good lenses. Prime lens and zoom lens. I like them both. Um, it depends on the situation, which one I'll choose, and it depends on what style you are going for. Let's see if I can do a side by side here. So here is the same um, distance, same position. The left one is 85, and the one on the right is the 70. I really like the light um, just shine through after I um, changed my lens and then you know the sun was rising you know just like really beautiful lighting right here um, here is a before and after of the 85 same distance and here is a before and after same distance with the 70 so Please let me know what you guys think. Do you guys still prefer Prime Lens more? Or are you guys like me? Kind of like loving Zoom Lenses more? I think it really depends on, you know, your personal personal style. And, um, yeah, what you're shooting for. For, like, events or if you're shooting your own family, your baby running around. Definitely a Zoom Lens. I would fold for zoom lens just more versatile easier to bring around you don't have to keep switching lenses but you're going for more like an artist artistic like more like fine art um blurrier blurrier background um i would say prime lens will be the one for you so i hope you guys enjoy the video and i hope this somehow 
somehow <laughs> help you to pack your camera bag or check out your cam. I mean, check out your shopping cart. <laughs> Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Let's go up here. I think there's more so you can stand inside. Good, 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 good. <laughs> oh, I love this right here. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, I love the lighting too. <laughs> oh, I love that smile. How you are laughing? Can you do that? Maybe I hold your um by your neck. Okay. Chest. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, right there.